the father of Sylvester of Romani has narrated his ordeal in how his son Sylvester of Romani Jr. was turned, who turned 12 yesterday, was allegedly bullied until he met his untimely death. He made his known while speaking in an exclusive interview with our reporter Friday Apomejuru at his residence in Wari. Sympathizers continue to troop in to sympathize with the family on the death of the 12-year-old. The death of Sylvester Jr. has continued to draw sympathy from both within and outside the country. It has led to the family and the death of state governor Ifan Yokoa seeking justice for the departed soul. Five of them walked into the room and as soon as they entered, they saw them coming into the room. One went back and put up the light. Put up the light. So they moved straight to his bed and all of them started beating him. He, 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 he ran down from his bed, came down from his bed, they beat him, started mashing him like somebody will step on him, boot him. In fact, anyhow, this small boy. Also speaking, sisters to the late student, uh, which include the eldest, Amira, who had passed out of the school, and Eloha, who is also a student of the school, call for justice, as the father says the death of his son will serve as a lesson to schools in the country. Two weeks ago, we never knew this would happen or anything, so it's like a big shock to the family and everybody's like devastated but at the same time we can't let it break us because we're still much it's not like he's our only brother so we have to still try to be there for each other because we can't hurt ourselves inside so we're just trying to stay strong and we are strong we just want justice to prevail that's all we want for the case to not for it to not be lobbied or anything like that for it to be properly done I have my family members around me because it's easier over here that I have them around me because at school it wasn't as easy as it is here. But I just really hope that justice is found and we're okay again. My brother, I must tell you that uh, uh, outside uh, justice for my son, uh, justice for all Nigerian children, uh, children now and children unborn, but uh, the school authorities, I must tell you, did not do enough. Because until the boy gave up the goods, we did not get any call from the school authorities. Outside the nurse that called. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.